let's discuss how to adjust how the image looks. So you can see in this image that there's a lot of sort of really bright white splotches, and yet maybe this stuff is not super bright. So what can we do to adjust how the image looks? So one option is to just click here on the sort of auto adjust. If we do that, uh, sometimes we get results that make sense. Uh, sometimes we get results that are not so useful. Uh, what you'll see is that uh, now it, 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 everything became dark. And so the reason is when you click this, what the software does is it finds the smallest pixel intensity and makes it black. And then it finds the largest pixel intensity and makes it white and then just scales in between linearly. And so because the way we had it displayed, um, sorry, not, not the way we had it displayed, because the sample has some really bright stuff on the edge, uh, the software is just making that bright stuff uh, dim enough that we can see features in it. And uh, by doing that, everything else looks dark. So what do you do if you have something like this? Well, there's sort of two options uh, that you can use. One is you'll see there are a bunch of numbers here. So these numbers uh, are the scaling of the, um, of, of the sort of whiteness uh, um, of the sort of lookup table uh, for, for different values. And so if I, if I click on this last one, or rather double click, if I make this number lower, so right now it's 6,500-ish, if I make this 3,000, the image gets brighter. And the reason is because this is exactly analogous to adjusting the brightness and contrast in Fiji, where if you lower the maximum, uh, the image gets brighter. Now, uh, pixels that are 3,000 or above are white, and pixels that are sort of in the at a lower value are this intermediate gray that's already visible. So if we continue to lower this value, the image becomes brighter and brighter. Now, if we lower it too much, uh, that's actually not that bad. But if we lowered it to, I don't know, 250, suddenly it, it's sort of not useful. So we need to find some value where we can see the features uh, that we care about. The other way we can do this is if you click here, uh, sometimes you need to click twice, you can draw a little square. And if you, know, if you position it wherever you want and click on the auto scale, so this up here, it will adjust things so you can see things in the square properly. That can lead to all sorts of problems. So I actually don't like using that square. I like to sort of click it off, uh, click on the auto contrast, and then uh, do the numbers. But it's up to you. You can use whatever um, tool you want to make it things look good.